Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 9 of Civilization 6 as China. We only have one civilization we are yet to meet. And even though we're going for a, diplom uh, a cultural victory, I keep saying diplomatic, even though we're going for a cultural victory, Gorgo is ahead of us at the moment. Hopefully that will start to improve once we get some more theatre districts out. We haven't really had many great people so far, which is kind of what's holding us back, but hopefully we'll be able to sort that out. So you're going to evangelize a belief... And um, mission reason apostles cheaper to get. Religion spread to cities further away. Uh, religious spread from adjacent city pressure is 25% stronger. Boosted 50% once printing is researched. Um, that's probably better for us because we're not really wanting to spread our religion. We just want to protect ourselves from other people. And you are going to launch the Inquisition. So now we can get Inquisitors. Fine, that's that sorted. So units need orders. You are... Are kind of in a crap spot here. I'd like to try and skirt around the barbarians that way if possible. You're going to sort of come back in this direction. You're heading back towards Germany, but there's not really many places you can go. Githian's boys are just going to stay there, hopefully survive. Promotion to the crossbow. Let's give you Arrow Storm. Oh, yeah, every single unit would have got a promotion from the... Um, Every single unit would have got a promotion when I built the Terracotta Army. Forgot about that. Uh, we're now on to a slightly different list for um, Patreon. Uh, where the Dragon Rain, the uh, the Blood Marksmen, the Orphan Blazers. Uh, I'm looking on the next part of my list now. Just sort of going down the uh, different tiers of backers. And we are at uh, Gwen here. Always reminds me of Gwen here from. Um, is it Gwen here or Gwen Gwen here or Gwen here from Lord of the Rings? Isn't that one of the eagles? Maybe I'm mistaken. I thought that was Gwen here, but I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I've read uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, anyway, let us continue looking over in this direction and see what we might find with the scout. It's probably going to be uh, more barbarians. It would be nice if we can find that one last civilization. Oh, look, we found more barbarians. You are actually next to uh, Campbell Jing. Um, you see? Now, Gith now this is Githian. There's units heading towards him. Germany, sort out your flipping barbarian problem. Uh, Willie Amadong, what have you completed? You could probably be working on the ancient walls. A theater square there is going to be more useful. Um, let us get one in this tile here. Uh, we, I st I'd still like another section of wall there. Uh, that was it. You got yourselves another, um, another builder. This tile I would like, actually. Let's just go ahead and purchase it. Oh, we're going to get it in 16 turns anyway. Fine. That's, we'll put another bit of great wall there. Um, so let's get you up and around this way if we can. See if we can skirt around those barbarians. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of open sea here. There isn't really any, any way around this land mass. It seems to span from sort of top to bottom of the map. Unless there's a channel down here, which is pretty unlikely. Well, we've already been in there anyway. So, yeah, we can't get all the way across. So that makes life a little bit difficult. Uh, also, we've got another barbarian camp down here near the capital. So that's definitely something that we need to deal with quickly. Um, so do we actually want to do anything with this builder? I don't think we do at the moment, so we'll just go ahead and put you to sleep. We'll keep looking around here with you. There's that Greek apostle again. Now then, did I or did I not get another builder over here? I was planning on it. I don't think I ever actually did it. So let's go ahead and get the builder. On to the next turn. So you can get the bananas, you can get the fish. Got another wheat tile over here we can grab. Probably want to get a mine up here or something. What is that you're building there? Or is that the lumber mill? I do like the upgraded lumber mill. It's very industrial now, look. Pretty cool. I do love how the buildings actually update as the uh, as the eras progress. Um, barbarians, yes, dealt with them. Already dealt with. Um... Quadrareem, kind of feeling a bit redundant now. You are going to go and get the fish. 
you are going to... Can you really not shoot that scout from there? Well, at least we can see those guys now. So we'll deal with you on another turn. Let's get you onto the land. This all belongs to Amsterdam. Still need to try... This is a really sort of narrow piece of land. That'd be a great spot for a canal city. So what have you got going on, Amsterdam? Let's go and have a quick look. Uh, I want to check something. Amsterdam. Influenced by England and Greece. Okay, so it doesn't look like the unmet civilization is near you. Otherwise, you'd most probably be influenced by them. All of a sudden, barbarians everywhere. Well, there's one unit killed off. So we just need to sort the camp out now. Um... What was that? Another city-state. Candy. Okay. What did Candy give? Candy give you a relic for every time you discover a natural wonder. No, 50% faith from all relics. Oh. Well, that would have been cool when we found the natural wonders that we found earlier. Because we found the Black Sea, which counts as... I'm not sure whether it counts as two or one. But we've got the Black Sea. We've also got the um, uh, Barrier Reef. And I'm sure we discovered another one as well. Germany's got one down here, haven't they? They've got Kilimanjaro. Unit needing orders. You are going to go and get the bananas now. You're just going to sort of wander the sea aimlessly. I might even put that Quadrarium on to uh, auto-explore now, actually. Because I'm not too sure what it can usefully do. Now, Germany has a pantheon, but no religion. So I could go and spread my religion to Germany. I'm considering doing it because, um, you know, Germany. What bonuses would I get from that? Um, my follower belief. Pagodas. Yeah, it doesn't really help all that much, but... Mo mostly got my religion for myself and not for others. Uh, the granary, food and housing. We definitely need some housing, so let's go for that. And, uh, yeah, let's have a look around here, see what we can find around Amsterdam. You are right next to Greece, I suppose. It's like Candy's going to clear that barbarian camp out. Because Russia can't manage it. Right, you go and auto-explore, because I can't be bothered anymore. Uh, what is that? She just still doesn't like me because I won't declare war on anybody. But if I did declare war on somebody, she'd dislike me for being a warmonger. Because I've had that happen. So you can't win with Gorgo. She either hates you because you were wuss... Or she hates you because you're a warmonger. It's, it's like, it's one or the other. Uh, please don't be the Ruhr Valley. Colossus. Okay, well, yeah, it's a long, long time ago. Okay. Ah, there we go. So, we found Monty. That's fine. So, he's over there. So not too worried about him. Well, at least we found everybody now. I mean, that was the important thing, right? You are going to continue to Zanzibar because you make me an absolute ton of money. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. Finish this camp off, hopefully. Nice. And you're going to get the uh, plantation there. I love how the road has now... The, the barbarian camp spawned on top of the road, but the road has now diverted around the outside of the camp. But I still feel if Germany's sending a trade route down there, it may well end up losing it. Um, yes, I was going to faith purchase missionaries. Let's get a, yeah, we can only afford one. We're not making an awful lot of faith, but that's fine. I just discovered a goody hut on a random island in the middle of nowhere. Um... Guess we won't be doing much with it though. There's tenants chip. I mean, we don't really need to know where everybody is. Uh, granary, I suppose. Extra housing, because you are over the housing cap. And there's an uh, English uh, unique. U is that their admiral? An English admiral. 
mean, I guess I could... Yeah, I'm not going to send you all the way back for a goodie hut now. It's, like, completely pointless at this stage of the game. Uh, more bananas there that you can get. Fantastic. You can go over here and clear this camp. Got to do it on the next turn because you can't move far enough. You are going to... Right, do all of our cities have our own religion? They do not. In fact... None of our cities have our religion. And England's heading our way, which is a little bit unfortunate. So we need to try and get an Inquisitor if we can. 150 faith. That might take some time. If England starts spreading, though, I'm going to tell them to do one. Uh, a spy from the German Empire was killed trying to steal from us. Unlucky, Germany. Claims that cannot be tested. There's scientific theory done. And diplomacy. And diplomatic service done. Small ones and large ones. The small ones will go away by themselves. Probably will want to get some spies. Uh, let's go for um, sanitation so we can get sewers. We've already got the boost on that. Choose a new civic. Right, what do we want to go for in the civics tree? Maybe Merchant Republic. Let's sort of head through towards that. Um, I guess getting the library here is not a terrible idea. I mean, we did just build the campus, so let's make the most of that. Let's have a look around what we've got up here. So yeah, Monty doesn't hate us yet, but I'm sure we will. So Monty's actually down here. We've almost sort of met up in the middle with these two uh, two scouts now. So that said then, let's let's move that scout all. It'll take him forever to get there. I don't even remember where that goodie hut was now. Somewhere we found it randomly. I don't even remember. Uh, he gets a promotion though, so we'll give him the promotion. And um, As for the name, yeah, we'll just give him a random name. Um, clear that camp out. Another 40 gold. Thank you very much. So you want to go over here and convert our own city. There we go. Yeah, I prefer if you didn't do that. I mean, I could declare war on England. Everybody already thinks I'm a warmonger anyway. England are quite far away. It would be egregious to declare a war on them, but so be it. Yeah, yeah, war. Because I don't want her spreading their religion to me, and I've got no way to defend against it at the moment. So, Teddy doesn't like the fact that I've done that either. Everybody's probably going to denounce me now. But what I can do is I can just go and um, start killing off your uh, religious units. And we'll peace out at some point, that's fine. So, let's go ahead and get the bananas there. Yep, Pedro's denouncing me. But, you know, what do I care? I mean, everybody hated me anyway. So, it's not like it makes any difference. Random English ship down there. Yep, Germany's denouncing me. That's fine. They think we're a warmonger. But again, you you can get CBs that reduce the warmonger penalty from egregious to, like, moderate. But even a moderate warmonger penalty, you'd still end up with everybody hating you. So... There's no real reason not to declare war. Yeah, being denounced by um, being denounced by Monty for declaring war. I mean, come on. And we're already denounced by Gorgo, so we're now denounced. But we've declared our first war in the entire game, and we've been denounced. You know, welcome to civilization. That's the way it works. Uh, you're not even a crossbow yet, so let's get you promoted. Choose a production. What do we want to get over here? Let's go for an art museum first, I think. Or do we want... Oh, River Valley. We want River Valley. That's what we were trying to do. So you're going to go there. 38 turns. Hopefully we can pull it off. Um, we should be able to kill you. See, look, your proselytizers are not welcome among my people. Uh, well, you've already denounced me, so screw you. <laughs> what difference does it make? And that was spreading my religion because I killed one uh, somebody else's unit. He's spamming his settlers out. Yeah, these guys now, I think, just uh, auto-explore. We might even get, get them killed if they run into some of England's units, but that is fine, really. 
Um, so let's uh, let's start bringing you back now to the capital. So you've spread our religion there. Let's go and head down to our other cities. And you can come down here and start getting the wheat. Imagine todas as conquistas surpreendentes que as mentes brilhantes da minha nação realizarão. But yeah, there's definitely something really weird going on with the AI. I mean, it's like, well, what's the point of even trying to declare war? There's the Hagia Sophia done. Now, bear in mind, the only reason I did declare war with England is I didn't want her spreading her religion to me. That was literally the entire reason for doing it. Uh, Going to give you Arrow Storm. You can fire at that on the next turn. Um, we can give you uh, a name, actually, now. Uh, Jamie is the next one on the list. Um... What have we got here? The shop, snipers, the aim shops, the white death. Uh, let's let's call these guys Jamie's sharpshooters then, shall we? Let me move the mouse pointer out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. No, that's not right. There we go. Okay, so unit needs orders, which is you. Let me get you going up here. That's a lot of crap you've got up there, Monty. Uh, more units needing orders. Yep, farm there. You've still got six builds left. Fantastic. Probably want another mine on this hill. Another farm over here. Yeah, you're going to have housing problems for a while until we can get some... Uh, we need to work on the one that gives us uh, housing. Neighbourhoods. That's going to solve some of the problems. Or cause some. I'm not too sure which. Choose a production down here. Uh, we want to get the amphitheater. We really need to start sorting out our um, our culture right now. Because our culture, our culture isn't the lowest, I don't think. We could certainly do with more. Need more tourism. We will get there. It will. It will happen. Um, so England appear to have backed off with their uh, with their boat. Let's go down there and grab that. I still do want to get one more settler at some point and grab that city. That is still a plan. If we don't, the AI will. Um, let's go and put you on automated. As I headed into the heart of New Zealand's fjordland, that same childlike feeling, long lost, of pure, unadulterated awe, came rushing back. I knew the road to Milford Sound was good, but this good. So look at that, one culture and one gold to adjacent tiles. Well, that's nice for um, for the Aztecs, isn't it? So yeah, everybody hates as you declare one little war because someone's trying to spread their religion to you and everybody hates you. We can finally claim a great person. It is a great writer about bloody time. Let's go ahead and get you. Fantastic. Choose a production. Um, I'm tempted to just get the theatre square at the moment. We can get a bit of a boost if we build one there. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, so we've got our writer. You are standing in the wrong place. Uh, you, you are our religion now. You're getting some spread from our religion. Everywhere up here should, so I think we'll just send this missionary over to the other continent. So you should be able to get on there now and uh, get a great work. So now we're going to start building up some decent, um, hopefully, start building up some decent tourism. I wonder if the reason that Gurgo has so much tourism, I wonder if it's actually religious works. No, she's got some great works of writing, but she does have the Holy Grail. She's also only got two cities. So she's not doing particularly great. So AI is kind of struggling there. So I guess you just um, stay there for now. On to the next turn. 
How are we doing on the Ruhr Valley? 35 turns. It's going to be slow going. I might have a look at this city and see if we can tease some extra production out of it. What tiles are we working? See, they've actually added these um, slots now to show you how, ma how many specialists are working those tiles. Um, we're pretty much working all of the tiles, apart from the ones that give us the, the money and the culture. There isn't a lot of production here, really. We should probably get ourselves uh, an industrial zone. As, well, we've, already, we've got the industrial zone. No idea, then. Uh, let's go for the siege tactics, just because it's nice and cheap. Need to choose a production down here. We're not at the housing cap yet. Let's go ahead and get the monument real quick. Um, two slots in the amphitheater now. So we use the great writer there twice. So yeah, let's try and get you across where we can. Not too sure where that other English um, unit went. But our religion is spreading now, so that's fine. And uh, yes, we'll get the farm there. I think I'll get a uh, mine up on this hill as well. But so much surplus food here now. 16 surplus food. We'll make this one the last turn of the video now. I'm going to have to wrap things up soon. But yeah, that's improved our tourism a little bit. Being a mercenary though, hey. We just go wherever there's a mixture of money and trouble. Not too bothered about anything in there. In fact, we'll have a look just in case there is anything we want to change. Because we're not really getting builders at the moment. Um, culture and science from international trade routes then could be useful. So let's go for that. We have an envoy we can send. Let's send it to Geneva. We'll still try and get that uh, science bonus if we can. Got a lot of campuses, so it'll be worth it. We'll send you down to these cities. So you can go over there and get a mine. You can come back to the capital. And uh, that is all I can do on this turn. So I'm going to end the video there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you're still enjoying Civilization VI. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.